Introduction to Computer Science with Python, Python while loop. You get up in the night to go to the bathroom and stumble across something. Ouch! Has this ever happened to you? Let's fix it with a nightlight and this code. While dark, turn light on. This code now helps you navigate in the dark without tripping over by controlling the sensor in the light. While it is dark, turn the light on. Here is another while loop. Let's see how it is structured. A while loop starts with a keyword while. Then after that, insert the condition for the loop to run. In this case, we'll say repeat while x is greater than zero. When this condition is met or is true, then the code inside it will execute. After the condition, don't forget the colon to create a code block. Now let's insert the instructions that will repeat. Here, Let's insert print x. This code reads, while x is greater than zero, print x. After printing x, go to the top to check the condition again. If it is met, print x again. Keep doing this while the condition is true. Next, let's try out the loop. If x is three, what is the output? It'll print three forever why is that? The while loop condition is checked every iteration of the loop. There is no code that will change the value of x, and x will always be 3, which is greater than 0, making this loop a forever loop. Let's put a break in the code by adding a line that will change x. x is x minus 1. This will update the value of x. It updates x by subtracting 1 from it and then reassigning it back to x. So if x was three, it would be two after this line. So what is the output? Let's trace the code line by line and figure this out. At the bottom, I'm going to create a table to keep track of the x value. Line one, x is three. Next line, is x greater than zero? Yes. Three is greater than zero, so enter the loop. Next, print x. x is 3, so the output is 3. The last line updates x. x is x minus 1, so x is now 2. Now that we've hit the end of the block, go up to the while loop condition to check if we can exit the loop or not. Is x greater than 0? Yes. 2 is greater than 0, so enter the loop. Print x will print 2. Last line, x is 2 minus 1. Now x is 1. To the top again, is x greater than 0? Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Once again, enter the loop. Print x will output 1. x is 1 minus 1. And current x value is now 0. Let's check our condition again. Is x greater than 0? No, zero is not greater than zero. The condition is finally false. We no longer meet the condition, so we get to exit the loop. And because we cannot reach the print statement in the loop, nothing is printed. Insert one more line to indicate that the loop is done. Print countdown complete. Notice that the last print statement is not indented because it's not part of the while block. After the while loop is done, the next line will execute printing countdown complete. Here is a question. If you want to count down from 10 to zero and print blast off at the end, how would you change the code? Take a minute to figure it out. There are several ways to do this. Here's one solution. Change x equals three to x equals 10. So that 10 is the starting value. Then we need to change the loop condition so that the output doesn't stop at one, but stops at zero. Replace the greater than sign to greater or equal to. This way, when x is equal to zero, it meets the condition and prints zero. We get to exit the while loop when x is minus one. Then the last thing to change is the last print statement. Here, let's put blast off. The result is, 10987654321 blast off 
while loop versus for loop. You may have found that using while loop seems more complicated than a for loop. Here are the code segments that output numbers from 1 to 5. The code on the left uses the while loop and the code on the right uses the for loop. As you can see, the for loop looks so much easier to use. So are there situations where while loops are preferred? Yes, while loops are useful when you're not sure how many times the code needs to repeat. Here's an example of how it can be used to control a game. In this code, the variable is playing works like a switch. When is playing is true, the game is on. The while loop, which houses the game logic or the fun part of the game, is executed. However, during the game, if your lives left value drops below one, then is playing is set to false, which forces you out of the loop and you are no longer playing. You'll get to use the logic in upcoming projects. Thank you.